energy sources such as biofuels. Uh, we, uh, we're, uh, right now, we're using a lot of non-renewable energy, uh, coal, natural gas, oil, um, and nuclear, and uh, we all know for various reasons, political, economic, we get kind of decreased our dependence on that. So maybe we use wind, geothermal, water, uh, solar, and biomass. And I think this is where um, insects can also serve as inspiration. So far, we have, we have been using uh, corn, for instance, to, to generate ethanol. And, but we only use for this uh, the actual the, the corn. And there is, uh, we hardly use any of the other pieces of the corn, like the stalk, the leaves, or anything like that. But there are lots of insects that love to chew on this stuff and are able to survive just using this stuff. So maybe there's something in them, which are called insect cellulases, these, these, these cellulases that cut down on the cellular loads in these uh, materials, and they use that as energy. So now there is uh, uh, research on insect cellulases to figure out if we can produce more of these cellulases and use them uh, to release all this energy that is in this biomass that we're not yet using, and maybe creating uh, uh, genetically modified uh, uh, plants that have these cellulases already in them so that when they are harvested, when they die, that they already um, release um, any kind of, uh, any of those uh, energy sources. Um, the next challenge is to design cheap, say 995, maneuverable robots that can be used in many different environments. And this has been going on for a long time, uh, lots of uh, entities would like this very cheap robot to go into certain areas that may be too dangerous. Um, and uh, insects have been inspiration for this type of research for a long, long time. And uh, we will put up links to these uh, um, uh, um, websites that that tell why at the Polypedal lab of Robert Full at uh, UC Berkeley they study cockroaches, for instance, for locomotion, and then uh, what they use it for, but also, and then what kind of robots they came up with. And we'll, we'll have links to that, and I, I could not do a better job than, than these, uh, these movies. So please, please take a look, they're, very, they're actually kind of entertaining, they're very short, maybe 30 seconds, um, one minute long, and they show you these these robots that are based on how insects move. And then there's also at the uh, Case Western uh, another robot, the White's robot, and this looks very much like an, an insect, it sticks like it, and uh, they also have a pretty cool video of that. So uh, this is probably, uh, this, these robotics, this is probably where insects have been most uh, inspirational, these uh, and other uh, 